Revelator John. Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What is a thunderstorm and how is it made? Well, when we have uh, either frontal movement or we have terrestrial radiation that is forcing warm air upwards, then as it rises, it will start to uh, eventually, uh, the temperature will converge with a dew point, so we will have um, condensation of whatever moisture is within that atmosphere or within that rising parcel of air. So within this stage where we have mainly updraft, rising air, rising warm air, and as it continues to rise, it condenses, we'll have what is known as the cumulus stage of uh, a thunderstorm. It's the building up of the thunderstorm, and it's mainly um, the updrafts of air, and then we'll have condensation building, uh, forming, and then we'll have the... Um, the typical white fluffy clouds uh, forming um, within the atmosphere and they will start to become gradually more and more vertically developed. This is the cotton wool cloud if you like. The next stage of the thunderstorm is what is known as the mature stage. So what happens is that as we have the warm air rising and the colder air above starts to fall as well, starts to descend, uh, replacing the warmer air, we have these updrafts and we have these downdrafts. But also what is happening here is that we have an increasing amount of condensation, we're having um, water molecules that are rising and then descending up in the cloud, up in the cloud. and this is creating a greater vertical development of that cloud. The final stage is what is known as the dissipating stage. So the dissipating stage is where the water molecules, uh, the condensation has got to such a point where the water, water molecules are actually uh, a lot heavier than air and they are just uh, always falling. So always falling um, from within the cloud itself, creating downdrafts, uh, predominantly downdrafts, and then we'll have the torrential rain associated with thunderstorms. We'll also um, have lots of high-speed winds uh, emanating from the base of the cloud and in the form of microbursts. We'll also uh, have, um, in, uh, during the uh, stages, so the, the latter stages, we will have um, thunder, lightning, um, during the, uh, the build-up phase, the mature phase and the dissipating phase, we'll have uh, lightning, um, thunder, uh, lots of electrical activity and also within the uh, latter two stages we can have uh, depending on the temperature of course if it's uh, freezing uh, or below then we can have um, the accumulation of uh, frozen water particles so this can mean the, in the uh, form of uh, frozen precipitation uh, snow hail that kind of thing depending on the um, the rate of uh, updrafts, the uh, the moisture content, and also the uh, fr uh, the freezing level, and how vertically developed the cloud we may get, we may see lots of hailstones or even uh, large hailstones, uh, which can be thrown in to great distances, uh, 15, 20 miles away from the the centre of the cloud itself. But normally associated, especially with the dissipating uh, stage, we will see uh, lots of um, lots of heavy rain, lots of high winds and turbulence associated uh, with that. Within the cloud itself, there will be lots of uh, turbulence, and uh, during the mature stage and towards the tail end of the mature stage and the dissipating early dissipating stage, uh, we will see hail, even hail, may be thrown out of the top of the cloud. Uh, where we have the strong updrafts. So those are the three uh, main phases, the main stages of the thunderstorm. We have the cumulus uh, stage, uh, the buildup of the cloud. We have the cumulonimbus, cumulus nimbus cloud uh, in the mature stage, and that is the big rain cloud developing. Then we have the dissipating stage uh, or phase, uh, which is the um, ultimately leading to the um, the destruction, if you will, of the cloud uh, itself, uh, where all the rain uh, and the high winds are shed. Thank you.